So, hello guys, and welcome back to episode 10. Excuse me. Welcome back to episode 10 of Vintage Story Wilderness Survival. I have some exciting news. Would you look at this? A brand new face. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. <laughs> Come to greet us. A little love tap there. Oh, and a wolf over there. Okay, so a bit of an, a chaotic, chaotic start to the video, but I am playing on the. Let's go inside. I'm playing on the newest edition of Vintage Story, the new experimental branch. And um, that means we have character customization. And. Together with the customization, I also got a bunch of clothes as well, which is uh, super cool. And as you might have noticed, we also got a new nutrition stat, the dairy. So uh, we will be taking a look at that a bit later on. But for now, I really want to show you all the progress I've made to the house. So I did a lot of work off camera here as you can see uh, I finished the second story uh, and now I only need to I only have the frame of the house so far but uh, I've made this so you can kind of get an idea of how it's going to look still needs a lot of work yeah 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 we get it still needs a, a lot of work but uh, I'm super excited about it and um, let me show you around inside. So, be quiet, sir. No, no. <laughs> the house tour is not for you. Only for invited members. Okay. So, as I was saying, nothing much has really changed in here. I've added the staircase. I actually don't quite remember where we left off, off last time been fairly busy with, uh, with my own life so um, as you can see I've added a lot of storage up here I think this looks super great now I only need to add some signs for this and I also made myself a lovely little bedroom which of course needs a bit more furniture I went back and got the bed from the old hideout and also tore down a few of the walls there I believe to get some more of this nice cobblestone and moreover we also have this nice little terrace I believe um, where we can enjoy our lovely breakfast and I actually don't know if it points towards the sunrise might have been a minor architectural misstep but anyway I think it's pretty nice. We also have some windows or <laughs> holes for now. And upstairs is fairly empty as you can see it's pretty much under construction. There's a bit few boards laying about. And uh, that is pretty much it for the house tour. I think once I'm done with the roof I want to use this for even more storage. Perhaps remove some of the storage from down here put it up here and I also want to make this a tanning area which we will get into very soon actually tanning so we can start making some leather but first what I really want to do I want to take not there here I want to take oh there's a new new texture for the dry grass well, that looks pretty cool so uh, a lot of these things are fairly new to me. I've sort of, I know a few things. As you can see, also the the animation for opening, super great. There's so many new great things, and um, but there are also quite a lot of bugs or bugs already. I've experienced that when you try to shift click. Sometimes, okay, of course I can't show it now because I'm recording, but previously when I try to shift click items there we go yeah it duplicates them and it gets seriously messed up but uh, luckily 
doesn't duplicate them for real. It's only a minor glitch, I think. Um, but anyway, back to... <laughs> Let's get back to it. I am all over the place right now. I do apologize. But what I, what I wanted to make was a linen sack. I want to upgrade our backpacks here. The way we do that is we make some more of this flex twine. Then we make some linen. So I believe I have enough of this for two, two backpacks. Maybe even a third? No, it's just, just missed out on a third. If we get two more flex fibers, we can get a third one. So, here we go. This will give us five quantity slots, which is absolutely perfect. Let's get this out of the way. Here we go. And... Like so, and like so. Can you also retrieve anything from the backpacks? No, unfortunately not. Let's stuff this into a random empty chest here. There we go. Now we have two more inventory slots. That is perfect. And let's see. I also did a bit of terraforming, but that's not too interesting. We are already at July. Which means we have a... Oh, wait, there's one more thing I forgot to show you. I did finish the basement. So, let's take a look inside. Here we go. A small little basement. So I'm thinking here, I want to have all my sealed containers. And over here, I want my open containers for basically immediate use. Um, so this is long-term storage, and this is immediate use. Then I have my all of my seeds down here, some berries, grains, vegetables, meat, all that stuff. Oh, oh this looks so cool! Kind of sad I can't see that from here. The new animations. I'm considering make, extending this uh, wall down here to make some, some other storages, storage as well. All right. So, already prepared myself for this place to pan out here. What I want to do is I want to pan some of this bony soil. Because in this update, bony soil actually has a use. It's supposed to be filled with treasure. And I am super excited to find out what we can get from all this bony soil. I went back to some of the ruins we visited uh, earlier. And I gathered as much of this bony soil as I could find. Fortunately, it was not a lot. I got 23 in total. But uh, let's see what we can get with the first scoop here. Have to be careful. We know there's a wolf out here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so the first treasure is a bone. But I'm hoping we can get some more valuable valuable items. We've been pretty lucky with the oh wait, what is that? Bony rib cage. Ha! <laughs> I have no idea what we use that for. Can we place that? Like just place it down somewhere? That would be pretty dope. Got a flint arrowhead there. Not a lot of value, fortunately. <laughs> Cut. 
Copper Arrowhead. That's a nice find. Another nugget of gold. There we go. Now we have two out of 20 to make a gold ingot. <laughs> That's progress. Oh. What on earth is that? A book? A story passed down for others to read. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Let's check that out. Lore. Part 1 of 8. Okay, let's check that out. I don't think I've found that before. Let's check it out. Letters. Quartermaster's Ledger. Date unknown. Our food stocks are depleted. We've only the dried wolf and rabbit meat left. Largely, we're left to chewing leather now. Our vests, our belts, our boots. We draw our last breaths. The huntsman corpse managed to trap two healthy squirrels and a grey gosling not more than ten hours ago out of out wager. It was not nearly enough to feed all the workmen. The ones in the mines had to be prioritized, as expected of their labor. Despite the, despite the additional meal, their health is declining. We are running out of options. Furthermore, Joseph Bada and Jaren were taking the state. They, they did not go willingly. The others might, ha might still have a chance. I have to believe so, for my own sake. Okay. Something about a mine. Starvation. Does not sound too pleasant, but uh, pretty cool. I I really love, love lore. I don't want to spoil it for myself, so I haven't read up on any of the lore for this game actually, so it's uh, pretty cool. Finding pieces of lore around the world and making up your own. Oh! Even more. Lamella Copper! I believe we can use this for armor if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Would you look at that? That's a pretty huge find. Alright. A rough peridot. Potential. It's a gem. Potential though. Hmm. Okay, I think on that note, we will stop panning for now. Let's plop down the pan right there. That's super duper cool. Um, I think I'll do the rest off camera, but for now we got 14 bones, a lot of flex, fi flex fiber, 7 flex fiber, some flint arrowheads, some copper arrowheads, a lovely native nugget, nugget, uh, nugget of native gold, some lamellar, a gem and a bony rib cage. That's pretty cool. But right now I have another project that I want to show you. Give me just a moment to prepare and I will be right back. Alright, so I'm back inside the mine right now. So I want to go back and I want to get some more granite. If I recall where it is exactly. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no way. No freaking way, we found a translocator. What? And a lot of useless items. Some scrap here. It's crate. Oh, few. Oh, more, more scrap. I don't think we can use these for anything. There's a chest up here with some gears. Oh! So I believe we can fix this up using the temporal gears. Okay. Wow, okay, I did not... Oh, there's that metal part as well. Okay.
Yeah, I figured it would break down. Okay, um... I was not really prepared for that, I must admit. But we will definitely check this out. I might have to look up a guide just to make sure I don't break this. I really don't want to. But, oh, that is fantastic. And there's a deep drifter here. Hello, sir. This is my property now. Thank you. Okay, so let's get back and see if we can find that granite again. This is just claystone rocks. Okay, so that's a way up here. Oh, yep. I know, I know you're right behind me. You know what? Take the spear. There you go. Hope I can find my way back out again. And by, back down down here. But now I know it's right there, so that's perfect. Okay, I think the granite might not be over here. It's the hole. Was it down here? Oh, I just don't like going down here. Okay. I think it might have been over this way. Found, yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, here it is. All right. So what I want right now, I want to get these granite rocks. I don't just want the rocks; I want the full blocks. This is tough rock. Okay, so the way we do this, we basically just break all the. Oh! Oh! No! 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 I think I also spotted some ore behind there. Okay, guys, back off, back off. Back off, back off, back off. Okay. Let's see if they have any loot for us. Nothing. Nothing at all. Is there anything behind here? Graphite. Need bronze. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. No idea what, I'm, what I can use the graphite for. But, as I was saying, I want these blocks. There we go. So by breaking all the blocks around them, we're basically freeing this piece of rock for us to use it. I want a few of these. First of all, I want to make a quern so we can start milling our flour or our grains. We can start making bread. And also, I still have my little special project. My little secret project that I'm working on. Which you will see a little bit later in this video. Alright, so I think 10 of these rocks should be enough for now. Now, let's see if we can get back out of here again. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, hello, you guys. Go this way. Oh. So since it's night time, a bit fewer of these guys should be spawn spawning now. This means I should have a chance to get out of here. If I can find my way back outside, that is. Okay, here we go. It's perfect. Yeah, it's pitch black outside already. It's raining, 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 raining down. I love the fact that we can just see the light through the house here. All right, so now that my inventory is all sorted out, I think we can go to bed for the night. And I'll see you in the morning. All right. So it's now early in the morning. We have a few pieces of bush meat here. That I cooked up. So now we want to do some smithing here. I want to make the a chisel. Let's add in a few pieces of charcoal. I believe we just need a 
single copper ingot for this. And we light up the forge here. And wait for it to reach its, melt, reach its melting point. Meanwhile, let me just check how we make a mold tool rack. Yeah, tool rack mold. Like this. This is another new item I want to make and fits perfectly that we can make it while we wait. So we need three planks and four sticks. I know I have plenty of planks up here. Place those like so. Stair or <laughs> the six rather. Now we have our own tool mold. Let's go and try it out in the smithy. Let's place that down there. Looks lovely. Oh and here we go. Look at this. Instead of these taking up so much space or taking up room in our chest we can just place them down inside the mold or inside the, the tool rack here. That is absolutely fantastic. I love that. All right. Our copper is nearly there. A few more moments. So what I want to make, I want to make a chisel, as I said. I believe I said. But I want to make a chisel. I want to start chiseling and improving the looks of my building even further. A few berries are already here. I still... <laughs> Even though I did so much work on the house, I've still not. I'm still yet to fence off this area. All these bushes. At some point, I will. I promise. At some point. Alright, so the copper is done. Let's see if we can make ourselves a chisel. A copper chisel, like so. I think we're gonna waste a significant amount of iron here. Well, I also believe the little voxels here are the outlines have changed. They're a lot more visible now than they used to be. Let's get to splitting here. Oh yeah, that's a lot of waste, but uh, that's just how it's going to be, unfortunately. This is a big one, though. <laughs> Looks a bit like a spatula. Here we go! A copper chisel. Let's throw it in the lake. And three, and two, and... <sighs> there we go! Our very first chisel. So, before I go too crazy on the chiseling, let's make our quern just like so. And we have it. We have our very own quern. And I know exactly where I want to put that. And that took a lot of light out of this room. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was carrying the torch. Never mind me. So now, if I just go get a piece of grain here, let's do the rye. It's just a 10 rye. Now I can turn this rye into flour. Let's try it out here. Oh yeah, there we go. Rye flour. We can even make this into bread, of course. We just need to make ourselves a bucket, which I will do in just a second. Alright, so now that I've turned all the grains into flour, let's go and make a bucket. For that, I believe I'm also going to need some flax twine here. Let's check the recipe. Wooden bucket. So five planks and some twine. Let's 
go make that right away. Five boards, like so, and there we go. We have ourselves a bucket. Let's go fill it up with water. Lovely, lovely lake water. Did I get it? Nope, I did not. There we go. So what we can do here, we can take this, and now we can turn it into rye dough. Turn the flour into rye dough. I believe there's here yeah, 10 liters, so it means we can make 10 pieces of bread. Perfect, perfect. Now let's chuck these onto the fire here. I don't think that's quite enough wood here. There we go. Let me go get a bit more wood here. That should be more than plenty. Oh, there we go, bring it back. Add a few more locks, like so. And the first piece of bread is almost ready. Here we go. This gives us 500 satiation. Just like that. There we go. All right. So now, if you do excuse me for a moment, I have a bit of pro oh, is that a landslide? I think that might have been a landslide over there. But now I have a bit of preparation to do, and I'll be right back. All right. So I hope you are ready for my little surprise here. So you ready? Three, two, one, go! Here we go. So uh, I wanted to thank you guys so much for getting me to 15 subscribers. So I made a little subscribe shrine or monument, perhaps. And I wanted to place down a rock for every subscriber that I get to pay a little tribute to you guys so that's one two three four so thank you 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 that is seven thank you 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 we have 14 and for the last one Thank you very much. So, if you want to join the Rock Brothers here, please uh, please do subscribe to the video. And uh, every video, if I get any new subscribers, I will of course be adding some more rocks. I will also be upgrading the shrine a little bit, and perhaps I will replace these with gold bars at one point if I ever get that rich but um, for now it's a, a little thank you note from uh, from me to you guys and um, thank you so much for the support let's place down a little candle here I know it's a torch but uh, works just as well so um, yeah <laughs> let's, uh, let's go back here so what I really wanted to do as well was getting to get into some chiseling and as you can see you can do quite a lot with chiseling but now I want to show you show it to you on camera and the first thing that I think we should do oh wait Let's kill this drifter for trespassing excuse me sir nothing so we can use this chisel to basically chisel any rock or wood block, I believe it is. Let's remove the under construction sign here. Want to date our building using this. I hope it's gonna look cool. I have absolutely no idea. But I really do hope this is gonna look great. 
So the year right now is 1386. So let's see if we can make that happen here. Start by removing this first layer. There's the outer layer as well. Turn go for. Hmm. We're gonna do this exactly. Oh, this is so tiny. Perhaps I should make this down here. So luckily we can just remove this box. So let's start off down here. Right, chiseling to making two, about two wide, I think. Like so. One. It's also a lot of trial and error as well, but I'm sure I'll do more of this, perhaps. So get your feedback, huh? Or something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Perhaps place these back in there. Can something like this here, perhaps, or the thirteen? Oh, did I? Oh, wait, I accidentally hit this button behind. It was not part of the plan, but we will make do. Like the All right. Let's keep it like that. With the order around it for now. That's thirteen. Place it up. Like so. Move it away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not too shabby. We have two part between here. Hmm. Might have miscalculated a little bit. First of all, let's move it one layer in as well. Something like this to work with. I think I want to move this one block over, or one tile over. Perhaps get three in between. Why does that look so weird? Oh. That's why that looks so weird, I think. Nope. Suddenly forgetting how a six looks. All right, so my calculations are pretty much off, which is uh, super great. One second, let me just try to fix this. Six. Let's just remove all of this out here for now as well. Shut it! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You're ruining my video! Something like this. 
Let's try and... Perhaps let's wait for the morning. I also really need to get a bite to eat here. Have my fired bowl ready. Eating some lovely, lovely red meat stew. Alright, so let's sleep. Get rid of all these annoying drifters. And let's put it up in the morning. Right, super excited. Alright, with the morning finally here. Let's welcome in our guest here. Oh, I do need... Oh, so the... Alright, so the drifters do disappear during the night. If I don't harvest them. So let's quickly make a knife. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's pull these off of the wall here. And place them right out here. Let's get the chisel and rotate them. There we go, 13. Well, it's a little dark, but I think you can see it. 1386. Might need to replace it with some other sort of material at some point, but um, for now I think it looks pretty damn good. I do like it at least, and I hope you do as well. Um, let's pull this out. Here we go. But I think I am all out of time for this episode. In the next episode, I want to go down and hopefully find some tin bronze, find some... Let's take a look at what alloys we can make before we go. Let's see. Bronze. So either we want to find some bis bismuth and sink or we want to find some tin so we can make some bronze and upgrade our tools things like that but for now I do hope you enjoyed the video and my new tan as well and as well as the lovely little monument here I've made uh, if you have any great suggestions for what do you want to see me do? Or if you want to have any suggestions for what I should chisel or anything like that, please uh, put it down in the comments down below. And if you're not already, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, become a part of my new monument. Um, as always, like the video and um, take care, guys.